Greetings to all of our friends around the world and welcome to today's live webcast of Arian Space's 24th launch of Soyuz. Tonight, Soyuz will launch a single passenger, Falcon I-2. She's on an Earth observation mission. We're coming to you live from our Paris studio. Very happy that you could be with us. You can imagine that back in Kourou, the teams are gearing up for liftoff, which is due in just under 15 minutes. And we're going to go over to Kourou to get us started, where Stefan Israel, Arian Space Chief Executive, is standing by. Stefan, I can see you. Welcome, and thanks for being with us. How are things in Kourou? We're nearing liftoff. Are all system go? Yes, so everything is going very well in Kourou. You know that we are in the context of the pandemic, so the Jupiter Control Center uh, has a limited uh, audience tonight, but we are with uh, all the teams, the Ariane Space team, our customers, the UAE and our partners, the satellite manufacturers, CNES and ESA, and so we are now in the final checks. Can you describe the mission in a bit more detail, maybe some facts? and figures, and who else is involved on the satellite side? So tonight we are going to deliver for the UAE Armed Force. It's a very important mission. The mission Falcon Eye is a satellite which has been manufactured by two strong partners of Ryan Space, Airbus Defense and Space and Thales Alenia Space. And again, we are going to deliver for the UAE. All right, we are into final operations. Can you give us a rundown on how the mission will proceed? What are some of the milestones that we should be looking out for? So five hours ago, we decided to fuel the Soyuz three stage, and now we are going to monitor how the weather is going to evolve up to the very end before liftoff. So let's be cautious to this point. And uh, if the weather is okay, then we will lift off. We will have a mission duration of 58 minutes. First, uh, the Soyuz three stage is going to deliver during approximately nine minutes. And after, we will have uh, two burns of the frigate upper stage. And after 58 minutes, we will have the separation of the Falcon Eye satellite. Okay, Stefan, uh, many thanks. Stefan's going to take his place uh, with his team in what Thank we call you. the fishbowl, and he'll be back with us at the end of the broadcast. Thank Stefan, you. see you after uh, liftoff. As you can see, we're on time and we're on target for liftoff. So many people responsible for making the mission happen. With Stefan is uh, his team, that's the Arian Space High Command, also called the Flight Desk. Uh, there are others, many others, making the mission happen, and we want to bring some of them to you, introduce them, the Dramatis Personae. We have the uh, mission uh, director, the Arian Space person, next to the DDO, whose voice you're going to be hearing, and he's going to call out the one-minute mark, the ten-minute mark, sorry, coming up. The uh, mission director, Didi Said, tonight from Marian Space, sitting alongside the Myr Myrto Madlon, who will be calling out the milestones both before and uh, during, the during the mission. You'll be hearing his voice a lot, and he's uh, getting ready to call out the 10-minute mark. The 10-minute mark is an important milestone because it moves us into the automatic sequence or the synchronized sequence, which means we're in the final moments of the final countdown. The DDO is going to call out the milestone. Okay, we are in the final moments of the final countdown. What's happening, basically, power passing from the uh, ground computers, which are controlling everything now, to the launcher, making her autonomous. And right on time, we want to welcome Romy, Romy Chevrier of Arian Space, who is Deputy Head of Mission mm -hmm. Analysis at Arian Space. Welcome. welcome. Take a Thank seat. I'll, I'll, I'll sit down with you. Tell us briefly, briefly what you do. Actually, our department is in charge of the trajectory design and separations and supervise the real-time telemetry monitoring. All right. We have a series of films for you tonight. Can you talk us through this first one? This is the mission. Yes. Uh, this is the liftoff, and this will be the beginning of the atmospheric phase. 
which will end with the separations of the boosters. A few later on, there will be the fairing jettisoning. And then the extinction and the separation of the block A will happen. The block I, the block will I continue, will, will, keep continue, will keep on accomplishing the missions until the heat extinctions. It will be the conclusion of the Soyuz ascent phase. Then it will be the first freakout burn. After this burn, there will be a costing phase. And during this costing phase, there will be a hole of telemetry of around 32 minutes. After that, there will be the second frigate burn in order to circularize the orbits and to reach the separation orbit. Then the separation of Falcon Eye will occur, but it will not be the end of the mission. Indeed, there will be another costing phase in order to wait the derbiting boost. During it, there is a download of the telemetry. After that, there will be the third bird to this orbit, the frigate. There will be another one download of the telemetry, and this will be the end of the telemetry and the end of this mission. All right. All right, thank you for that. We'll all be sure and watch out for those highlights. Stefan uh, to told us uh, to watch out for some of them, but that's a, a fine addition. We're going to go over to Kuru again, and we're going to visit with Marianne Claire, who is the head of the CSG, the Guiana Space Center, the first wo woman in the role. She'll, she'll be with us uh, shortly. CSG, of course, playing a huge part in, uh, in every launch and Marianne Claire overseeing all of those activities. A lot of activities, of course, uh, going into making up a, a launch, the preparation, the launch itself, and of course everything that comes afterward in the telemetry. Marianne Claire, I can see you. So, I can also see uh, yes, the green status green panels behind yes, you. Welcome. It all looks green. Is that the case? Yes. No, it's no, no, not, no, no, it's not the case. I can say that uh, we have a raid for Meteo, and I think that uh, uh, the tentative will not be possible this evening, and uh, uh, we can try uh, again uh, tomorrow, of course. But for the for this evening, clearly the Meteo is not with uh, with us, and the in-flight lighting is too important. The risk of in-flight lighting is too important. A red in the weather, I think. Is that what, is that what we heard? A red, red in the weather? We're going to go over to Stefan Israel shortly. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to launch, uh, according to Marianne Claire. Let us go back to Stefan, I think, who, who is standing by, yes. who can fill us in on some details. If uh, the weather is uh, playing a part, is spoiling our plans. We will wait. Uh, I give the floor to Stefano. Can you tell us about what 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 do you know about weather or the weather situations <laughs> like this? That's life. Huh? Is it lightning? Is it? Uh, I know we we can launch in the rain. Rain is not a problem. Yes, yes. This this unexpected event on weather belongs to uh, some difficulties that we have to manage, and it depends what kind of uh, weather event we are. We have to cope with. Okay, we. I believe Stefan uh, Israel is uh, standing by. Stefan, what can you tell us about uh, the situation? In flight lightning. Hmm. Yes, so uh, as I told you, we have to monitor the weather up to the very last minute before liftoff, and uh, we have a risk of uh, in-flight uh, lightning. It is one of the risks we are uh, monitoring very closely with high-altitude winds. The high-altitude winds were okay tonight, but uh, unfortunately we have uh, this in-flight uh, lightning risk, and uh, it's uh, not possible to fly tonight. So no problem, we are going to wait up to tomorrow exactly at the same hour and we will make a new tentative tomorrow. 
the launcher and the satellite would put uh, would be put in a safe mode. We just need to wait one more day, and uh, then we will uh, be back tomorrow for a new tentative, and it will be okay. All right, Stefan. Many thanks. You heard uh, Stefan say risk of lightning moving the flight uh, to tomorrow. We'll go again. The launcher, of course, it's important to note, is put into safe configuration so the launcher and the satellites are in no danger. We'll try again tomorrow. Uh, please uh, join us same time, same place. In the meantime, thanks for being with us. Stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow. À tous de DDO, arrêt du temps des comptes suite à la confirmation d'un rouge météo. Que tous les moyens restent activés pour une mise en configuration d'arrêt de la base de l'ensemble.